Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. You can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash hidden, H-I-D-D-E-N. Audible has over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. So, no strings attached. We're giving you a free book. You've heard us talk about how much we love Audible. Go give them a shot. And once again, promo code HIDDEN for audibletrial.com slash hidden. As always, we are sponsored by Illuminatus. Their pre-rolls are made like no other pre-roll out there. And they come in a sativa and indica blend, offering a discreet and satisfying experience every single time. Illuminatus products are always guaranteed to meet all government testing standards. So check them out at IlluminatusBrand.com and on Instagram at Team underscore Illuminatus. The Civil War kicks off. <laughs> We've, uh... Yeah. Yeah. The coin toss has happened. I mean, it's no longer a matter of if. It's just when. It's just when. After this week, it's just when. So, let's give a little timeline. Yeah. Uh, so, on September 2nd, Nancy Pelosi has her whole little salon gate fiasco. Right, where she went and got the haircut even though she told everyone else to stay the fuck home. Yeah, yeah. And then had... The best part is, is when she decided to... Claim it was a setup. That that made it <laughs> 1,000 times funnier. Because if she just comes out and says, oops, I made a mistake, like, eh, it's not very funny. Yeah. But to come out and be like, no, that salon owner set me up, and this was a f- this was this was all about political motivation. This was, I, that was a psyop. That yeah. was a, that was a Republican hair yeah. salon. In San Francisco. A Republican hairstylist. Yeah. Oh, we know there's so many of them. In San Francisco, yes. Yeah. It's it's nothing but Republican hairstylists and uh interior decorators. Yeah. So nothing that'll be but far right, very straight men in San Francisco. It's all they're known for. Yeah. But uh yeah, that'll be one of the pettier subplots in the history books to how the Civil War started. Uh, was uh Nancy Pelosi got set up at a hair salon. Guys, can't we just knock it off for like a fucking week? Like it's There's no stopping what's in motion. It doesn't help. We're uh, recording right now. Outside, it is 117 degrees. And it's also on fire. And, yes, the basin nearest us is on fire. Now, you want to know how we... So we're recording from the middle of hell, which is fitting because the episode we're recording after this is about Satanism. So I guess... Synchronicity, bro. It kind of works. Synchronicity. But to just have bad news after bad news and then it's 110 plus and just no amount of air conditioning can can do anything it's a lot easier to take bullshit when it's not so hot like just one break like if there's give us one break if there's anybody out protesting right now there were hats off to you there are Black Lives Matter uh, guys on the corner over by the gallery when I left to uh, come over here. Well, that doesn't quite count, but I'll give them credit because it's, it's so fucking hot. Yeah, that end of the valley isn't as bad as this end, but uh, it's still like 112 over there. Yeah, it's fucking hot all over the place over here. Yeah. So but uh, So you want to know how the world's really skipping off the fucking, the needle is skipping on the record is we have Osama bin Laden's, uh, what is it? niece uh saying only donald trump can prevent another 9-11 oh uh, yeah <laughs> so there's the cosign no one saw coming i didn't even know she was still alive or what? like there she is where is that a mega hat i can't yes it is it looks like oh, wow. it is indeed the wow. man has even converted osama bin laden's niece he had to have paid for that picture or something. I mean, probably, but doesn't make the picture any less real. Either that or she has to overcompensate for what... Uh, what her fucking uh, uncle did? Yeah, what her uncle did. She, she's she got to go a little over it. When your last name's Bin Laden... It's a hard one to live. You got to kind of go <laughs> over the top for people to, uh, you know, trust you to not kill them and 
their entire families. Yeah, yeah, it's hard one. To, it's a hard rep to shake. Yeah, that's uh, one of the more famous last names or whatever the fuck they consider it over there in uh, in the last thirty years. I'm actually surprised she didn't change her last name, but. Yeah, I would have been like Osama Stephanie. Yeah, something <laughs> or else. Whatever the fuck. Anything but that. Yeah. Um, But do you think he has to, like, do you think he takes that as a good sign? Like, see, folks, I've cured the Middle East. Even Osama bin Laden's niece is telling me I've done great things. If he was smart, he would do that. Because she, she's... It's a lose-lose. Like, she might be right. I mean... This peace deal wasn't going to happen under anybody else. So I guess if you take away the one asshole willing to, like, tell him to knock it off. You know what? Um, Peace in the Middle East is never going to happen. Likely, no. It's just not. Well, listen, if you took a time machine and you went back 2,020 years and you were a news editor, you, you wrote the paper... Every day for the last 2,020 years, the top headline could be trouble in the Middle East. You could probably go back farther than that. Yeah. 3,000 years, maybe? Mm, yeah. You can probably go back about 5,000 years. <laughs> yeah. it's They've been at this shit for it's been a quite while. some time. There's they, some uh, uh, there's some bad blood. Yeah. They, uh, every day is, it's just on. They they don't uh, they don't take breaks, but uh, no, they don't take breaks. I mean, they can't. I guess they don't have anything else to do. I mean, yeah, watching little kids fucking throw rocks at tanks and then uh. getting gunned down. A bunch of pieces of shit. <laughs> I hey. mean, the kids, not hey. the soldiers. <laughs> Hey, they're just trying to do their job. Yeah, we were we were protecting them. <laughs> they had a weapon. We had to stop them. They were a danger. You don't understand. They're not human. <laughs> yeah. Those those rocks were anti-tank rocks. <laughs> now, speaking of civil wars, uh, so I don't think you followed the whole situation with Michael Reinald as closely as I did. He's the no. uh, the individual who gunned down a Patriot Prayer bro in Portland uh, last week, I guess. But mm-hmm. uh, so that happens. They identify him about a day or two later. And then, when was it? On the... He was on the run for a while, right? Like he for, kinda, a day or, yeah. for a day or two. Uh, but then on the 4th... So, today oh, is... No, 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 on the 3rd. On the 3rd, he, has, he had an interview with Vice go up. Okay. And in that interview with Vice, he pretty much admits to doing it with a vague claim of self-defense, which was bullshit. They found video of him... Just like stalking him, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and then that evening, coincidentally, he's gunned down by the feds in a shootout. Uh, what? So, <laughs> my thought was, is he going to become like the Lee Harvey Oswald of the Second Civil War? Because the, the in martyr. that in that interview, he says, "I felt like this was the first shot in the Civil War." He specifically says that. Yeah. Um. I don't think he's that important, but things keep moving in that direction. No, but he's dead and can be used as a patsy is what yes. I'm saying. Yes, they, they that's got, certainly the case. They can, similar they can to, use the death as a... Well, similar to Oswald. Oswald, that shit popped off. Oswald got picked up, and then the second anything was about to come out of it, boom, boom. Game over. Dead man tell no tales. <laughs> but like... It's an interesting thing that he said. I felt like that was the first shot in the Civil War, and then they murked him. Yeah. I don't understand the um, phenomena of criminals giving interviews. Uh, fuck, um, I don't either. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, especially because it's obvious Vice either gave gave him up or they just tracked the Vice crew. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it, it, you're online, but uh, it's... I was just reading an article shortly before you got here. It was about a dude who was selling a bunch of weed, like, via Instagram. He had uh, edibles and shit, and he was posting pictures of himself with, like, 40 pounds. It's like, <laughs> you, what? 
who the fuck is your like your older statesman? Because as far as I remember, the like number one rule of uh, selling drugs is don't show off the fact that you're committing the crime. Well, it's just like, who is that post for? It's to get bitches. I get it, but like, you can do that in person. Yeah. You don't have to leave everlasting proof. No. You don't have to have, uh, I think they arrested him with 21 luxury vehicles, is what the article said, (laughs) and uh, several million dollars in cash. Well, no. once again, the problem becomes when you make too much money and you don't have business to properly funnel it through. It's useless. Yeah, you can't do shit. What, what do you do with $10 million? You get caught. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. <laughs> Motherfucker's going to go away for a long ass time. Oh, he will. Oh, he will. Especially right now. They're fucking looking for people right now. I still support him. Yeah. I don't believe in people going to jail for drugs. Donate to his GoFundMe account <laughs> yeah. set up now. <laughs> He's, he's going to be in prison doing the money phone. <laughs> Honestly, these people making more money off GoFundMes for getting, like, fucking misdemeanors than there is for actual work. GoFundMe is the best scam we got going right now. Like, if... Uh, it's a real gift to grifters everywhere. It really is. If you or I could get arrested for some variety of political cause, I don't know what it would have to be. But if we could do it... We could just scam everyone with some GoFundMe money. And dip. And disappear. <laughs> you know, you, went, you GoFunded my escape. Yeah, because uh, bail is typically not several hundred thousand dollars, unless you know, it's like murder or something. Half these states aren't even taking bail no more. Yeah, California isn't cash bail anymore, which... which I mean, yeah. Uh, sidebar. Uh, th- yeah. Cash bail was a very shit system. It was a scam. It, to come up with uh, like four grand cash at three in the morning to get someone out wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do. Tends to be a bit difficult. Yeah. Ba- banks are kind of closed then. They also ask a lot of questions. Yeah. When you're taking that much money out. You just show up with a bag of cash and it's all fucking tens and twenties. It yeah. um, it raises a few alarms. Much like the Instagram posts uh, where you just post yourself with a bunch of weed, it, it raises questions. Look, rap lyrics haven't changed that much from the 90s to now, but these motherfuckers started posting pictures of the shit they was talking about, and now they're using their lyrics and their fucking Instagram accounts in court. You know how many cases Snoop Dogg would have caught if he'd have fucking had a Twitter account oh in the God. 90s? Watching these guys point guns and shit yeah. at, like, the fucking camera. What what are you doing? Yeah, I just don't, I don't understand how they don't know they're snitching on themselves. I mean, I guess most of them aren't actually really living that life. There's a created image. Well, that's what makes it even dumber. Yeah. You're creating proof of something you're not even really doing. It's like when Lil Xan pulled the gun on that guy at the gas station and the guy just laughed at him and called him a bitch. He was like, shoot me, do something, bitch. I can shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> so. 18 year old fuck. Oh, Christ. But <clears throat> it also just keeps getting worse with uh, USPS. They just keep saying they're going to fuck this up and I don't. Can we blame the USPS if this gets fucked? The when United they... States piece of shit when they was pos <laughs> when they've been saying saying this for like the whole time um it, i because if I, someone keeps telling you like hey i'm gonna fuck this up i mean i'm gonna do my best but i'm gonna fuck this up and you're just like well i need to leave it up it's all up to you bud i feel like if someone had given me a warning on something uh well in advance it's not like you know it wasn't uh a yeah. day or two ago. But think of, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't more than a month ago. A month is still a decent amount. We got what? It's, it's, uh, September. So we got, we got 60 full days until the election. That seems like enough time for theoretically the world's best and brightest to put together some sort of plan. You think the post Something. office has the best and brightest? No, I'm talking fuck the post office. That's oh. what I'm saying. You need to bring in like a, a think tank. Well, and... yeah. If anybody wanted this to actually work, that's what they would be doing. That's what makes me more concerned is people just want to say, 
that it's fucked up and not have any actual point. They don't. Yeah, they don't want it to work. They're, they're going to contest the election no matter what. Yeah, I mean, this is where I've come to. I've gotten to the point where I don't see how this actually plays out good. I don't see how this ends well. No one wants to accept anything. The post office is fucked, and it's whoever's fault you want it to be. Um, where was my other fucking article the other day? You know what? Yeah. I'm siding with the post office. Like, if we have to take up arms, we're gonna. We'll I'm siding with the post in office. The Civil yeah. War. I'm gonna wear the shorts that are way too short for the time period. Hey, they have they have locations in every city in uh, in America. We have lo- we have yeah. spots everywhere. HQ is all over. I'll put on one of those little funny hats, and I will go walk around and uh, deliver. <laughs> I don't know mail bombs. What what do you what weapon does the post office use? Uh, they won't deliver any mail. They're going to hold your mail hostage. That would be the ultimate, like, fuck you. Like, oh, just, you want us to do this? Okay, how about uh, you? No one gets mail anymore. They'd just be like, we're going to burn this if someone doesn't. We, yeah. If you don't meet our demands, we're going to burn one letter every 30 <laughs> minutes on the hour. And to which people would say, uh, all my shit comes through Amazon's. <laughs> Well, that's what makes it yeah. funny is it's like they no, have no leverage. We don't rely on them for anything. And then it's like, oh, you guys got to handle the whole election. It's like, <laughs> how many letters is that? Oh, well, OK. OK. A uh, uh-huh. hundred million. Uh, yeah. uh, OK. Uh-huh. How many dead people are getting them? Mm-hmm. OK. OK. You know, what's great uh, is that so many people in this country don't vote. And because of that, it might not be that big an issue. Yeah. Because or, what or, is it? It's something, it's like 30% of... It's about, it's a little under 50%. Yeah, of eligible voters actually vote. It's a little under 50%, yeah. So, I guess you could have someone in your household vote like five times for some say, people who wouldn't vote normally. I was going to say, that's the only place is probably a little open to manipulation is you find out who the non-voters are that are still registered and uh, magically they're going to vote this year. Oh, my mom used to vote for my dad all the time. Well, she, that's not it. That's not as fuck. bad. That's not as bad. I think most women vote for their husbands. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a waste of time. But the Washington Post is coming out and just said pretty much the only way there's no violence is in a Biden landslide, which is okay. I guess it's good that well, we're we've all been saying that for I, a while. I guess it's good that we're all saying that. No, they didn't even say a Trump landslide. They said oh, just a just Biden. only Biden. So it's just a threat of violence, really. Hey, I have stocked up on frozen meats. I have a bunch of chili. I've got my drugs. Actually, I need to order some more drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that reminds me, I need to. Uh... Well, I just keep seeing shit like this, and I just, I don't, I don't know how this is avoidable anymore. Like, I thought this would simmer down and we'd come to our senses because I thought the adults in the room would be, hey, we should probably stop talking about this like it's an inevitability. But nope. I don't think there are adults in the room. Yeah. I think I think this is a, this yeah. is a pre-K class. Yeah. It was going crazy during during recess. We've got the world's oldest toddlers. Yeah, and uh, that's just kind of who's run the show. No, no one grew up into a well cultured and well mannered individual. That's not what gets you attention this day. You got Takashi Six Nine that shit on on social media, and say all kinds of inflammatory shit, and that's how you get your votes. So that's that's what the world's fucking become. I guess, but but this doesn't seem to be so much about votes. Because there was yeah. the one the other day where the, I think the dude was on CNN and was like, well, on the election night, it's going to look like Donald has won in a landslide. But once all <laughs> the mail-in ballots are tallied, but it'll actually, actually show yeah. the opposite. <laughs> and it's like, guys, you're not, uh, you're just going to start saying this shit? Not like, helping. okay. Not helping, yeah. yeah. It's going to look like he won by a lot, but by winning by a lot it actually means he lost by a lot but if you just wait a few days and we know exactly how many votes we need those will appear yeah it's not good messaging coming out of that side right now they're they're really talking they're really talking some shit that's going to start getting worse well because that's i mean that's fucking great for ratings it's fucking yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be fun for, to watch the Civil War live. I'm not going to lie. 
yeah, cable news is going to be fucking lit for a few weeks. If I, I mean, we're talking about something that has never happened in history, which is we might break into us like. Well, it's happened once. I, I mean, over an election. Well, although I guess the last one kind of was too. Kind but, of over an election, yeah. But it's uh kind of unprecedented to have basically Twitter mobs spark a group of uh, grown individuals to arm themselves. Just the Washington Post. I know the Washington yeah. Post has lost their they're fucking all, minds. They're all I don't like. I don't. I don't know who they think this helps. I told you two years ago before I know Bezos bought the Washington Post. I I have a Kindle. You, when you have a Kindle, you get the Washington Post for free. Uh-huh. So one of the headline articles was, "Is Russia doing too much with attack dolphins?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all right, first of all, there's got to be at least one bigger story today. But that that that's when I knew it was like, okay, Washington Post, you're you're off the uh gone off the, the reservation. trusted list. Yeah. I don't uh I don't trust you or your attack dolphins. Speaking of Russia, there was a great video the other day of uh <clears throat> of Hillary talking about how Russia was like interfering again and Bill Clinton Already? <laughs> and Bill Clinton was in the back and he just looks so tired of this shit. He just looks so fucking fed up with it. He has to be. He's been doing this for. Well, she just won't let him stop. She keeps dragging him into this shit. What was he was first elected in ninety two? Mm-hmm. Right after Bush. Yeah. So he, f- from nineteen ninety two, and that's not even considering him being uh, governor of Alabama. From 92 straight through 2020, he has been in some way, shape, or form involved in a presidential election. And only one of those was by choice. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, poor. poor. That's, that's poor a Bill. big, uh, that's a big undertaking. Running for president, not easy. It's, no. it's not like uh, you can just kind of lay back and be cool. Yeah, I go to a bunch of states with uh, blue collar workers, and you lie to them. Yeah, pretend and you, you care. Yeah, pretend you care when you don't give a fuck about them. Look, there's no one I love more than our vets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that and other lies told you by politicians. <laughs> the ve- <laughs> I was talking about veterinarians. No, I was, no, I meant I'm the, a, the people who save our dogs. I'm a huge fan of uh, <laughs> doing CPR in a parakeet. Folks, no one loves vets more than I do. Yeah. <laughs> they saved all my animals. <laughs> what the fuck's war? I don't even... <laughs> how, how does this actually work? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I does, don't quite know. Does Nancy set the place and time, or is that me? <laughs> That's the other thing. Like, once again, we still... I. Do we fucking draw a line like a I Love Lucy episode? It's like, you get this half... And we get this half of the country, well, and we won't fight, but everyone's going to stay on their fucking side of the line. Well, that's like the interesting part, because it'd be different if it was down the middle, but we're like cutting out the center. I guess we'd have to like gerrymander ourselves. It'd have to be like a, you have to cut out the filling in the middle. And then Utah's just kind of stuck like... Uh, Utah, little... Utah been ready to declare itself its own country. Yeah, they they've... Kind of, they're they, they're pretty close to the the lefties on the uh, the coast here. They've been ready. They've been ready to, for this plan to pop off. They've just been waiting on it. But the, I don't know exactly how that works because it's both the coasts. So yeah, like. Although at this point, with how much power governors have, and we're seeing that with just how bad they are. Well, just the amount of power, uh, the state. We're in California, the world's mm-hmm. whatever, fifth largest economy. Something like that, yeah. Our state has been, we have been on lockdown for six months at the uh, behest of the governor. Mm-hmm. And once they take those initial liberties away, you're not getting them all back. It's very easy to let them keep slipping away. Yeah, you you'll get some of them back. It's like nine eleven. We got we got some shit back. They'll give you but a you're taking off your shoes at the fucking airport, 
and if God forbid you have four ounces of shampoo or else you're a fucking terrorist. Oh, no, we're not going <laughs> to repeal the Patriot Act yet. No, yeah. no, no. We no, kinda, we're definitely going to spy on turns you. Out, <laughs> yeah. Turns out unlimited spying is pretty sweet when it comes to government, so we're going to keep that. Oh, it's great for data. Yeah. <laughs> for data purposes, yeah. uh, illegally spying on all your citizens. Yeah, we wouldn't have anything for the NSA to do. Yeah. What else are they going to do? They got to listen to everyone's phone calls and uh, read their texts. The Donald did say he might pardon Snowden. That'd be pretty cool. I, just anything at this point. Just just do fucking something. For the love of crap, I don't care. Fucking I'd kill another turkey. We haven't had Thanksgiving in a while. <laughs> kill another turkey at the White House. No, Thanksgiving's canceled this year. Yeah, no. Well, I guess they pardon the turkey. But uh, how about you kill one? Start a new tradition. Yeah, maybe that turkey was a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, every... Folks, s- this is the worst turkey I've ever seen. Every September, the president uh, strangles a turkey with his bare hands. Look, I said, no, I'll do this one myself. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, I just want someone to fucking try. Try and do something. I think we're just getting ready for civil war. Oh, that's what we were talking about. We were talking about that earlier with the the helicopters flying around L.A. Oh, yeah. Uh, They were military drills, 1,000%. I know that for a fact. I looked that up. But, uh... Yeah, they're flying all over the place in formation. They were building hopping. They're pretty much planning for Vietnam in L.A. Yeah, and I, I was telling you on my way over here, I because I have to go past uh, Van Nuys Airport, which is, for those of you who don't know, that's like the largest private For those plane. of you in fucking flyover country. <laughs> yeah, for, for those of you who uh, live in states no one gives a fuck about, Van Nuys Airport is like the largest private jet. Mm-hmm. But anyways... So there were three police helicopters and they were doing like all these weird aerial drills and they're flying in circles and like doing he- heavy banks and yeah, I saw a video all kinds of, them. of shit. I saw a video of them in downtown where they were landing on the helipads, jumping from building to building and shit. And I was like, oh, I know what they're preparing for. I know exactly what they're preparing for. I mean, I guess there's our answer. That's that's what it's going to be, is we're just we're just waiting we're for just, November. Yeah, we're just waiting for war. In the words of uh, Green Day, does he get wake the, me up when September ends. Does he get to keep and his... And October. I don't want to be awake for that either. Does he get to keep his uh, moniker of first president to not start a war if he starts a civil war? <laughs> Uh, I think they could do one of those things where, uh, like, how Vietnam was in war, it was a military conflict. That's just because we lost. <laughs> yeah, they could do something like that. There's uh, some semantics they could break out where it's like, oh, no, nah, this isn't a war. This is a, a, a scuffle. A scuffle, yes, yeah, so a civil skirmish, a uh, civil unrest. Because it just seems like we've the powers that be have just accepted it. Which is a little unconcerning. Because they're uh, they're kind of the the only ones who could stop it. Also, where where has anyone? I have not heard anyone on either side of the political aisle say maybe we need to start figuring out what the fuck to do. And I don't mean fighting. I mean like to avoid this. I mean, I has think no one no one else is worried about this. I think they seem to think it's going to be handled legally, but. I don't think this ends in a court. No. Right now in California, I can't get a gun. They're all sold out. Ammunition. All go, all, all sold out. All sold out. Bulletproof vests. All, all sold, sold out. All sold out. That's uh, safeguardarmor.com. <laughs> that is crazy. Before, in, in, yeah. a, in L.A., back in the day, because I used to, uh, my dad, my brother, and I would just go to gun stores and look at cool guns. No one would be in a fucking gun store in uh, L.A. Like, they, they were empty. It was it was like almost yeah. being in a pornography shop. Like, the the yeah, and this, the uh, taboo around it yeah, in this it was, town. You fucking, you put the, yeah. the, the jacket up and you sneak the fuck in. Yeah, you gotta walk through those weird bead things. Yeah. Like, that's what a gun store used to be. And now everyone's like, no, give, give me the 80 gallon bucket of, of ammo. Which one shoots Black Lives Matter protesters? <laughs> yeah, which, which kills the best? I need to kill the rioters. Which, which ammo do you recommend? So. And by sold out, like, sold, sold out. They're gone. They're gone. It's going to be a minute before they come back. Yeah. 
bad and fucking bullets are wild expensive now too. Yeah, and it's not just California either. Other states are are having difficulty getting ammo. Yeah. No, nah, sure. it's just it's just it's gonna pop off. I think we've all just kind of accepted it. Everyone's just locked and loaded. No one will say it. Like they're all couching their terms in violence if Donald wins, but like political violence in that respect is a civil yeah. war. Like N- do people just not understand the definition? Uh, well, as Bane the Butcher says, violence is the only way you answer violence. I mean, I was so, thinking like, hey, if it knocks off after that, maybe we just got to get out of our system. Now, the nice thing is neither you or I, despite being a fighting age, uh, we're, we're, we're at the top end of the uh, the enrollment age, mm-hmm. but we don't really have to worry about fighting. I'm I'm not taken to the streets. I'm not going to fight for this. I'm going to commentate. There is one thing. If someone tries to break into my domicile or start fucking with my car, then... You can catch a J.R. Smith if you fuck with the car. Yeah, then... Some white white kid's about to get shown what's real. Yeah, then I'm going to have to do something. But unless they're directly uh, trying to attack my house... I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about your stupid fucking president. I don't give a fuck about your stupid presidential candidates. You can all go self filate yourselves on Twitter. And I'm just going to keep you like living like normal. I'm just going to keep chilling. I have come (laughs) up with a more likely scenario where it's more of a cold civil war. Mutual mutually assured destruction. I mean, it kind of is. The left will secede. And mostly as a show, just as a political show. And then Hillary Clinton will become their head general in charge of their military. So it'll be Hillary negotiating with uh, probably the Donald. Donald, yeah. I doubt he's letting the Secretary of Defense take this. Three Uh, terms. (laughs) And then I think nothing will ever come of that. And there'll be a few little outbreaks here and there. And then eventually they'll go, all right, fine. All right, fine. We got to stop this. I can't remember who said it on our YouTube page. By the way, if you listen on YouTube, we're getting censored on there. So if you want to hear like full episodes and shit, where we are also on iTunes, Spotify, etc. The man's coming for us. Yeah. Well, it, it hasn't been so bad as of late, but content's uh, missing. But anyways, there was uh, uh, one of the regulars. I think it was, it was either Infowar or Nickel Mickel. Mm-hmm. had mentioned it would be like a kind of Crips versus Bloods thing where it would just be small factions break off and those small factions are the ones fighting each other. Because it's not like we're just going to go 50-50, 50% of the population on this side, 50% on that side, and we're all fighting. There's yeah. only a certain amount of people who are actually going to be willing to take a bullet for either candidate. Yeah, I would think um I would think it'll be more of a handful of outbreaks that aren't directed by those in co- in uh, in charge. Yeah. But they'll get attributed to them, which is when they'll eventually be like, "Well, I don't want to be blamed for this shit. I just thought it'd be fun." <laughs> so, I think that's when they'll eventually knock it off, and by knock it off, I mean they'll just let the Donald have four more years. Just give it to him. Well, he's not going to give up. You think the Donald's worried about killing people? Is there a time limit on how long they have to count the vote? Yeah, I think it's sometime in the end of January. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any... Which is when I think it then goes to the Senate. But if you declare a civil war and you fucking secede... Make shit different. I don't think the legal (laughs) system works if you've uh, seceded from the country. Yeah, if you essentially just uh, blow up the whole legal system. So I I don't know how they take him to court if their first move is to secede. But I think I have come across what will be the key to victory in the Civil War. And Uh that is going to depend on who gets labeled the Confederacy. (laughs) It's it's, they're going to be name calling. Name calling is what's going to. No, no. Whichever side gets labeled the Confederacy. Is labeled the bad guys, essentially. Yeah. No one's going to want the Confederacy to win. Well, 
There, there, no one's there gonna might wa- be some uh, folks in robes who want the Confederacy well, to win. That's not what this civil war is about. <laughs> but uh, that I mean, I think it's just too hard to sell. How are you going to sell the the Confederacy being the good guys? First, if if I'm in charge, I hire a marketing firm. We we workshop some names. We get a hashtag. Yeah, we we get whatever you know. Where we become the the freedom success party, and and that's what we want. Or uh, the like, uh, what they name Chinese restaurants. Like number one, go lucky, happy. Number one, because if you secede, you <laughs> have to give up the America title. Yeah. Or what if we just call ourselves America too? Oh, well, there's mm. nothing to stop you from doing that. It's not very creative. It's, no, it's not. But we would be. We're it's in better than Confederacy, I suppose. We're in North America. We're splitting. They We're better, America too. They better get ahead of the Donald on this. He's gonna. <laughs> someone, he will label them the Confederacy so fucking fast. Someone, someone gotta talk to. I don't know who's in control of the other side at this point. Uh, right now, I, I don't it, think it's anyone. Because if civil war is inevitable, someone better claim that they're the Union first. Because <laughs> I, I would not want to be on the side that's the Confederacy. <laughs> Can you imagine Twitter and Instagram during a civil war? Well, especially if one side gets labeled the Confederacy. It's going to be... Especially if that side is the Democrats. That makes it even funnier. <laughs> it's like how Trump always likes to tout that uh, the Republicans were the party that freed, freed the slaves. Which we were. Yeah. <laughs> so. Shouts out Lincoln. That yeah. didn't end so well for him. Yeah, some guy was uh, so angry he removed his hat in the theater. Yeah. He he slapped the hat right off his head with a bullet. <laughs> the bullet did most of the work. <laughs> yes, the bullet uh, did most of the hat slapping. You know, the funniest part about that whole thing is they actually were trying to assassinate every member of the cabinet on the same day on some, like, fucking Ocean's Eleven shit. And they, he was the only one they could get. Yeah. Ironically, the only one they really needed is the only one they got. If you're going to get one on your hit list, why not take out numero uno? But yeah, that was that's one of the first, I guess, conspiracies, I guess you could say, is, uh, yeah, they, they meant to go take out every single member of Lincoln's cabinet because in their minds, that equated to victory. If all your leaders are dead, ours get to take over. I don't know. Didn't seem to work. That does seem to be another thing people aren't thinking through is like, so you take out X amount of people. Ooh. At what point do, like, you can't just put people into power. Yeah, or, no, it's it didn't work the first time. <laughs> yeah, like that's, he, that's what makes it so funny is, is it didn't work at all the first time. It just, we killed about a million of our own people and went, all right, fine. You can have give up the slaves. Let's just stop killing each other. Yeah, like like with most countries, we fucked up our country pretty good during the Civil War. Yeah. We had to do some repairs. It was a whole. We, th- there was a whole thing. Rebuilding yeah. the country was a whole thing. Yeah, we we kind of fucked it up. Yeah. So maybe maybe this time, let's find a workaround. Well, let's, th- let's find a way to uh, not start shooting our neighbors. Well, or go for it. Go in if you're going to go in. <laughs> but uh, I think it's just going to eventually be them being like, fine, you know what, Donald? You can just fucking have four more years. Fine. <laughs> After that, I don't know. Well, the fun is... Because we, we can't start going three terms. Well, here's what's going to be fun is he's going to try that, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, these military drills is to take out people in liberal cities trying to start some insurrections. There's no other reason for that. It does seem uh, highly suspicious that it's uh, Los Angeles. They're uh, jumping building to building, yeah. armed with armed people. And like, I know what you're planning for. I I like that you're planning ahead. Don't love what it signifies. It shows chutzpah. They, sh- they, <laughs> well, what it shows is that they know it's gonna go down. There's foresight there. Yeah, they they know there's about to be some wild shit. We might have to do a live uh, election day. Oh, coverage uh, of some sort from the balcony. 100% we will be from live the, broadcasting from somewhere. From the balcony, we can watch the whole city burn. Yeah, we will. Oh, I want to live broadcast the, the polling results as they, they come in. Because you know what I know is going to happen day one? Because they've fucking now said it like eight times, is that Donald's probably going to win in a landslide on day one. 
Yeah, and, and uh, some places have said it's going to take weeks to fucking count the votes. I can guarantee you some shit's going to get set on fire the second they say he's won. Yeah, and I'd like to be able to there to be there to uh, yeah, I mean, commentate if that. Look, if we're going to endure it, we might as well let the people enjoy it with us. Listen, we're uh, historians of sorts. Very high historians, but historians nonetheless. You know... I, I also don't know much about history, but... I know a lot about the Civil War. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. The Civil War is fascinating. It's kind of like, uh, we're pretty much like that Batman quote. We just like to watch the world burn. Yeah. We don't really have a reason, but if it's going to burn, you might as well enjoy it. No, it's uh, chaos for the sake of chaos. Yeah, fuck it. Order can come later. Let's ride toy and toy out. Let's see how crazy this shit can get. I'm just not for violence for the sake of violence. Yeah, like, what, if, what if the aliens stopped a civil war? I think we talked about that on the last episode. <laughs> I, think, I think we brought that up. But now they might have to. <laughs> They're going to be forced. Someone's going to be forced to come down. They're going to be the only ones who can stop us. And Corey Goods Ascension Course, which is only three hundred and thirty three dollars a month. That's a bargain. Can, yeah, that's that's, a, that's pretty much a ninety percent savings. Yeah, you could. Look, uh, folks, folks, they keep telling me I can't sell it this cheap, but you know what? I want, I want you to have it. <laughs> I fuck him saying buy storable food is starting to sound less and less crazy. You think Alex Jones just straight just gets ready for the war? Like the second the war happens, he's just strapped and ready to go. Or do you think it's too important to be the voice of the war? He will be broadcasting, but he will be laying down with the fifty caliber belt fed gun. You think he'll just do and like a helmet a, on. I was about to say you think he'll just have like a GoPro and a mic strapped onto <laughs> him and he'll just be from the battlefield? Because if we're talking about someone who's been praying for the Civil War to pop off. No, he, I assure you he has like a sandbag wall or some sort of barrier. That he can fit his weapons through. Because if someone, he'll be wearing uh, armor, if, if we were going to say broadcasting, if we were going to say someone was going to take charge of one of the Civil War armies, I could see Alex Jones. He could be a general fitting into that slot pretty pretty nicely. Now the problem is he is wildly out of shape, which is usually not good when don't it comes to, to war. Don't need to be in shape to be a general. No, I guess you could. Uh, He's also a hell of a sniper. Oh, so says he. Well, he's never <laughs> lied to me before. No, no. Brain force turns you into a 100% shooter. Yeah, pretty much. I could see the future. <laughs> Not this future, but the future. No. He'd I mean, be a great general. I might sign up if I was under General Jones. I think... That's an army I'd fight in. I think literally the craziest thing that could happen is if this just went calmly. That would literally be the, the most unexpected thing, is if just, yes. not, is this just nothing happens. Is, I'd be more suspicious if nothing happens. Just the results come in, people accept them, there's uh, either Trump stays or there is a transfer of power. If that happened, I would genuinely claim that there was a planetary possession. At that point, I think I start believing all kinds of conspiracies. Because uh, if Bilderberg fucking steps in, it was like, hey... <laughs> Knock it off. You motherfuckers, you, you're going to fuck our game up. You've ruined the script. Yeah. <laughs> you have this planned out so well. Did you see what you did to the fucking stock yeah. market? <laughs> what are we? This is the only number that matters, you idiot. Votes. Yeah. Votes. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about votes. No one gives a shit about you and your dumb votes. The Rothschilds won't stop bitching, Donald. Don't <laughs> fuck this up again. Yeah, we need to be trillionaires again. <laughs> Which is funnier because it's just a bunch of Jews. Mr. President, you're ruining all the money. <laughs> just a bunch of... <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's the funniest part about those conspiracies is that's who they're actually talking about. It's it's not like the gangsters. It's no. fucking the Jews who do your books. It's the guy who yeah, George Soros. runs the money. George Soros. <laughs> doing it by the numbers. <sighs> I'm sure he's responsible somehow. Who sold us those voting machines? He'll be blamed. He, how many ballots has he filled out? I guarantee the voting machines or the paper is going to come under question. You know, as funny as I actually think one of his packs does help with voting integrity in terms of the software. Uh huh. Which is always good. I don't know yeah. what they're going to do when he's dead. Who are they going to blame? You know what? They, uh. Maybe that's why Alex is looking to retire. He knows, he knows this dude's going to die. Once George Soros is dead, he just won't have content. I mean, who, uh, his job is done. That's true. He's eliminated uh, public enemy number number one. Yeah, he can retire and let let us take the fight. 
I guess Bill Gates moves into the new uh, number one slot. Oh, that's true. He does like making fun of Bill and his pink sweater. And his uh, fear of AI. I think he called Bill's wife a tranny, too. He either wants to fuck men or well, the it's big just Mi- his go-to insult. The Big Mike one is funny. That's, big it's Mike fu- is funny. That one's <laughs> fucked up, but yeah. it's, it's funny. Like, I just can't help it. It's fucking funny. Yeah, it's, the it's, Bill Gates one isn't as funny. It's just funny that he wants to call everyone's wife a tranny. Yeah, l- like, literally everyone. Which, yeah, I guess maybe that is just his go-to. That is a funny insult. Or, or they talk about how uh, they smell like sulfur and they're fucking <laughs> burning in hell. <laughs> Speaking of how we got to get around to uh, the Satanist Oh, episode, the building's on so, fire. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's, uh, let's uh, call this a day and uh, get on to episode two. The Butcher's coming. Mamba out. <laughs>